Okay, sorry for the delay. We're very sorry as the Zero Project team, but now we're on, on air and we can start. Um, from our part, welcome to the Zero Project community to the conference, conference 2021. It's a real pleasure to have you, to have so many of you with us at this year's Zero Project conference. With over 3,400 participants online, this year's virtual conference has become a truly global gathering space for those committed to disability inclusion. With so many participants from all over the world, it is easy to forget to mention the backbone of global gatherings like these, namely trusted partner organizations such as KVPS. We are so thankful to your organization to organize this partner channel session. Therefore, without further ado, I wish you all well, well hope you enjoy the session, and I look forward to seeing you online or on the conference platform. All the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, sorry for the delay, but I think we can we can handle and we try to keep keep the program going on. So we are welcoming you into our our session from from Finland from KVPS. I am Katri Hanninen, and I'm development ma manager of the KVPS. Today we are talking about the meaningful jobs and uh, about the role of the job coach to support not only the employees but also the employer. To, to help people to find, find the meaningful jobs. In Finland, we have quite a long history in the sheltered workshops. And uh, only last few years, we have um, tried to find out the ways to really get the paid jobs for the people. And I think at the moment, we are in a really good path on that. And today you can hear about the job coaching and uh, about the supporting employers. We will start uh, with Simo Klem, who's the expert in employment from FIDE, and Simo will tell you more about the situation in Finland and about the, the job coaching. So please, Simo, the stage is yours. Thank you very much, Katri. So I'm Simo, I'm from FIDE, and uh, that is an NGO in Finland. And our members are mostly organizations providing services for people with intellectual disabilities. And one of our goals is to improve employment possibilities for people with intellectual disabilities, shortly people with ID. Uh, so in this presentation, I'll show you some overall picture of our current employment situation and, and then uh, tell a little about what, what we can do to make it better. And we can take next slide. First, uh, the overall picture. Uh, it's estimated that uh, there are around 40 or 50,000 people with uh, intellectual disabilities, ID, in Finland, and of them, 25,000 are in working age. And according to our research, uh, only 500 of them are in paid work. And there are, there are also these 9,000 people in sheltered work, which Katri already told. Uh, and that means work, but no money. It's like social uh, service. This sheltered work uh, takes mainly place in various kinds of workshops, uh, but for around 2,000 uh, people, it is, it is organized in ordinary workplaces. In our research, uh, we asked uh, counselors uh, in these workshops, what do they think, how many uh, of uh, their clients with ID would be willing and able to do real paid uh, work? And for, from their answers, we estimated that around 3,000 persons with ID in Finland would be willing and able to work in paid jobs. Uh, the real potential is probably much higher compared with, for example, Canada, where 26% of people with IDEA are in uh, paid jobs, our real potential should be at least 6,000 people. And now it's 500. So this is a huge gap. And next, next slide, please. Uh, well then, uh, then we, in our research, uh, we found out uh, what uh, uh, job tasks do people with ID do. And here uh, are the most usual tasks. 
And as you can see, the most common tasks are in cleaning and kitchen work, and uh, it takes mostly place in uh, cafeterias, restaurants, and shops. Then they do also laundry work, uh, shelving, mostly in shops, property management, outdoor jobs, some customer service, assistant office working, uh, carrying out and unloading of loads, waste disposal, and packaging and sorting work. And next slide. Well, then you might ask, why are the employment numbers so low with people with ID? Most important thing uh, is that municipalities in overall don't offer right kind of support. But uh, we'll come to that soon. There are also some bar barriers, barriers in the system. For example, most of the people with ID are on a disability pension. And so they are able to earn around 800 euros per month without losing their pension. And if this monthly income rises above that level, the, the pension uh, is not paid at all. Uh, disability organizations in Finland have long demanded that pension and salary should be reconciled in a more flexible way. And right now the issue is in, issue is in negotiations between our current government labor and employment unions and insurance organizations, but it's progressing very, very slowly. However, uh, the system has also some in incorrect, encouraging elements of which Ilka Rantanen will tell more later in this session. But shortly in Finland, we don't have quota system, but, uh, but the employment office uh, offers employers wage subsidy and monetary support to adjust working conditions if the employee has any kind of disability. And then we can go to the next slide. Uh, good news is we have a solution. Well, many of you might know this already, supported employment or individual placement and support model IPS. Uh, which is quite well known uh, method of support in many countries. But sadly, right now, despite our le legislation and interna internal international conventions and evidence showing good results uh, in promoting employment, IPS model has spread very, very slowly to disability services in Finland. These possibilities would increase hugely if Finnish municipalities really offered this right kind of support. And uh, if in this service, uh, job coaches really actively contacted the uh, employers in the area, creating job op opportunities and supporting also the employers, as well as the people they are help helping now to get a job. Uh, of this, we already have some good examples and good practices in some mun municipalities in Finland and many more in other countries. So it's possible that slowly things will get better. However, much work is to be done. And for example, in our organization, we train disability service workers to job coaching, to get a new kind of approach to their work, to contact employers and organize job seeking groups for people with ID. We also actively con contact big big employers. Also other, other projects, municipalities and joint municipalities have been promoting supported employment and paid work for people with ID. And then next slide. So we already know that supported employment and IPs model uh, do work. People do find working places. And some, some employers really want to employ people with disabilities. We just have to find those employers. What it needs is that disability service professionals need empowerment to do business, contact and work with employers. What we have found is that social service professionals are actually very good salespersons. They actual, their actual work is to listen and understand their clients and come up with solutions to their problems. Only now the client is employer. Also in our research and in our current operation, we have found that peer groups for job seekers are good practice. 
to empower and encourage people with the idea to recognize their abilities and strengths, visit workplaces and seek for employment. And next uh, slide before we meet our real job codes, Minna, we will show you a video, a story of Salla, who is, uh, has got a real pay job with the help of a job coach, who is also called Minna, but she's different Minna. This doesn't mean that all the job coaches in Finland are called Minna. This is a pure coincidence. So here we go. Minä olen Salla Pennaan, työskentelen kahvia nimessä. Keitän kahvia, teen voi leipiä, vien astia ja pyhin pöytiä. Mun nimi on Minna Lonka. Ja mie toimin Sallan työhön valmentajana. Salla on aloittanut työtoiminnassa työkeskuksessa. Ja hän ei kokenut sitä niin kuin omaks paikaksi. Ja sit sieltä Salla on siirtynyt valmennusjaksolle pienryhmää. Ja pienryhmän kautta sitten Salla on aloittanut täällä kahvilassa harjoittelut. Harjoittelut alkoi yhdestä päivästä ja viikossa, sitten siirryttiin kahteen päivää viikossa ja sitten kolmea päivää viikossa. Ja se suju niin hienosti, että Salla siirtyi sitten tänne avotyöhön. Ja Salla teki avotyötä melkein kaksi vuotta ja nyt sitten Salla on työllistynyt ihan työsuhteeseen syyskuun alussa. Mä toi ylpeä että ja... Sitten huomattiin, että niin tekee töitä ja että on itsenään tai kun on maalotteinen siellä. Eli nimeni on Johanna Sinikannas ja olen kahvilallemme vastaava ja Sallan lähin esimies. Oikeastaan työtehtävät on räätälöity Sallan osaamisen mukaan, että kassatyöskentely on esimerkiksi hieman vaikeata vielä, mutta sitä harjoitellaan, mutta muuta ei oikeastaan ole. Hän tuo sen positiivisen itsensä aina töihin ja tuo sitä muillekin. Hänen voi luottaa. Kiva on tämän työkaveit ja saada itsenäisesti. Saa tarvittaa sapu. Vammaisilla ihmisillä on samanlaiset oikeudet tehdä töitä ja saada siitä myöskin palkkaa kuin kaikilla muillakin. Eikä mun mielestä sitten sitä rahan merkitystäkään voi väheksyä. Saa ostaa jotain mitä haluaa sitten. Laittaa säästöä, käydä keikoja tai lähteä jonnein matkustella. Thank you, Stiva, for your presentation, and also thanks for, for Salla for the sharing her story about, about her great job in the, in the Café Lime. Next, we can hear our own <laughs> job coach, Minna, who will tell you about her job and uh, what, what is she really doing with the, with the clients and also with the different companies to get 
jobs for people. Please, Minna. Yes, thanks, Katri. And uh, hi, everybody. My name is Minna. Oh, uh, wait a moment. I put the camera now. So my name is Minna and I work as a job coach to job seekers who have intellectual disability. You can put the next slide, please. And so I'm going to tell you a few particle and basic steps, which I think will help to match a job seeker with an intellectual disability with the correct employer. Step one, you need to know your client. For example, how he or she learns new things, which are his or her strengths. What is his or her biggest dream about working life? Step two, you need to believe in your client's possibilities. And it's also important that your client has faith in you as his or her job coach. Step three, you really need to listen to the employer's expectations and be honest about your client's attributes towards the job that the employer has offered. Uh, together with the employer and the job seeker, you can modify work tasks so they would suit better for the job seeker who has an intellectual disability. Step four, tell to the employer how to apply to the TE services subsidies for employers that want to hire, for example, job seekers with an intellectual disability. Step five, and uh, I think this is the most important one. When the job starts, support your client and also the employer on the workplace. You need to practice the work tasks with your client and also help the other employees in case they have some questions about intellectual disability. For example, how they can give directions to their new coworker. Step six, your client and the employer will have your active support as long as they need it. And even after that period, the job coach should remember to keep in touch with their clients from time to time. And step seven, try to always be excited and supportive. Remember that your most important job is to match the right kind of job with the right kind of job seek. Thank you. Thank you, Minna. There were good, good advices for the other, other job coaches. Next, we will hear the, the speech from the, our employer, Pirkanmaan Osuuskauppa, who is a really big employer here, here in Pirkanmaa in Finland. So, Jana Salo, are you there ready? Yes, thank you, Katri. Uh, my name is Jan. I'm the health and welfare manager of Pirkanmaan Osuuskauppa. Next, please. Uh, Pirkanmaan Osuuskauppa is uh, uh, one uh, of the 19... Um, 19 uh, take the next one, please. Yes, one of the 19 cooperatives of S Group. And S Group is a Finnish network company operating in the retail and service sectors. Uh, we have uh, 112 outlets on several, sub several different supplies. And the co-op members are the sole owners of the cooperatives. And the earnings from the operations are invested for the benefit of the co-op members by um, many different ways. Take the next one, please. 
Yes, uh, our company uh, has a long history with hiring people with ID and uh, the longest employment relationship has now lasted for over 20 years. Uh, we think that uh, the employment uh, of ID persons uh, or are a societal uh, challenge and our business management uh, was willing to invest more. And uh, so we had to think uh, very many things uh, at different ways. And we started by thinking what could be, what could we do a little bit better so that uh, people will be connected to the work. And uh, we are a, a business company, so all the jobs uh, are always real and there are jobs that has to be done. So what have we done? Uh, first of all, we made a decision at the business management to start a new employment project. And uh, then we had to sort out our work tasks. We zoomed in um, in the contest and the worksheets. And um, then we wanted to take uh, everybody with us to the project, all our employees, and uh, we increased internal communications. And we participated our employees uh, with um, work in it. Uh, we elected instructors for different jobs. And then the, I think the most um, important thing was search for the right partners to do it with us. And uh, then we got help from many competent disability service counselors like Minna. Next one, please. So what have we achieved with this work? I think we have succeeded quite well. And now at this time we have 30 employees with uh, ID. And uh, despite of the Corona crisis, so last year we started new jobs for 13 people. We have enabled the growth of diversity and the work is visible to our employees and customers. And uh, we have received a lot of good feedback, uh, especially from the customers. Um, most of uh, our routine work, they has become better handled with help of uh, people with intellectual disabilities. And uh, our custom service representatives has been given focus on their work. So also our job satisfaction has improved and the joy at work is evident. And the next one. Uh, I think together we have succeeded and the work goes on with a big heart and great will. Thank you. Thank you, Jana. So this was a, a story of a quite big employer from Finland, but we also we are going to have a little bit a smaller employer here to tell the story, but uh, unfortunately he had to leave because of the delay. But, um, but I think that from this Jana speech, you also can see the importance of the support that the job coach can give for the employers. And also what Jana said, that, uh, that you have to find the great partner, the right partner, so together we can manage. Thank you, Jana. Next, we can um, hear something about uh, the little bit more official support that the, the employees and the employers can have. So welcome Ilkka Rantanen from the DE Services. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ilkka and I work as work 
Ability Coordinator in Pirkanmaa Employment and Economic Development Office, which therefore provides public employment and economic services, TE services, as we say in Finland spoken language. The Work Ability Coordinator works with both job seekers and employers looking for employees. Pirkanmaan TE services have had the opportunity to cooperate with uh, KP, KVPS, uh, especially the KOP project implemented by them. Next slide, please. Uh, so let's enjoy a short ride together when I talk about TE services and cooperation with KOP project. This graffiti can be found in Tampere here in Finland. Let's go together to see what's behind the paint. Next. There are 15 regional TE offices in Finland. Employment and business services are provided under the Act of Public in Employment and Business Service. At the end of December 2020, there were nearby 33,000 unemployed job seekers in Pirkanmaa TE office. Of its job seekers with partial work, work ability were nearby 3,000. And next slide. Uh, the employment and business services are tasked with securing the availability of skilled labor, finding employment for job seekers without delay, improving the operating conditions of companies, organizations and other employers. So, the services are for those in search of jobs, education and training and for companies, organizations, and other employers. And next slide. The, um, the employment and business services are always driven by the service needs of individual customers, companies, organizations, and other employer customers. The TE office helps find information on finding employment op options despite uh, uh, dis disability or illness. And of course, the e service inform and provide su suitable vacancies and if necessary, op opportunities for competence development. The e services, especially the work ability coordinators, works closely with healthcare occasional rehabilitation arranged by social insurance, disability and other organizations, municipalities, employers, etc. And next slide. We have some TE services which are intended to job seekers with partial or work ability. First, arrangements for arranging working conditions. If person's illness or injury requires new tools or furniture, alternations at the workplace or assistance from another employee, this support is granted on application to employer. And second, pay subsidy. These services increase 50% wage cost to employer if employees disability or illness significantly and permanently affects his or her work performance. The employer must apply for paid subsidy before starting the working relationship. Also suitable these services may be, for example, work tryout or job, job codes as the service career guidance all the, all the services are available to those who have registered as unemployed job seekers. And next slide. 
And finally, briefly about the, co the cooperation on Pirkanmaa T service of of Pirkanmaa T services with Service Foundation for people with an intellectual disability. KVPS job seekers works using job coaching tools and methods with people with ID and with employers. The person, person directed to KVPS KOP project registers as a job seeker to the office and submits a medical report in order to assess the impact of health status on work performance. The office prepares an employment plan together with the job seeker and job coach. The plan enables pay subsidy and subsidy for arranging working conditions. <coughs> COP project, project job coaches help employer to do apply subsidies. As agreed in the employment plan, the e-office grants the subsidies to employer. The e-services make, makes it possible. In this case, the e-office in an, is an in, enabler. Job coaches does, the most, does most of the work with job seekers, with ID people and employer. They really make it possible. Thank you. Thank you, Ilka. It was a great, great to hear also your role in the supporting the employees and, and the employers. Thank you very much. Next, we can hear the conclusion words from our, our CEO, Kirsi Konola. Yes, I will be very brief as we are already quite late in the evening. Um, um, just a few words. I think that the, I hope that in this session we were able to illustrate uh, some of the some of the facts that uh, not only the person with disability uh, that is benefiting from job coaching, but it's also if we want to, to make it possible uh, really for everyone to, everyone to be able to be part of society and part of the work life. Also, the employers need the support uh, to make it poss possible and it should be um, organized so that it's, it's structural support for employers. Uh, and not, o not only ad hoc, ad hoc based, it should be in the structures, in legislation, and, and uh, so that in all in whole society we are able to support employers and people who do the work uh, to be able to be part, part, of, part of the work life. Um, I think for the, for the decades it has been uh, clear that everyone, also people with, uh, people with disability, has a right uh, to work, that it, it's indeed uh, very important for everyone everyone to be be able to be part of society and, and community and and we have shared aim and shared objective to, to do that but it's uh, we need very active measures from many angles of society many in many ways to make it possible in everyday lives of, of people with disability and and we we yeah, it's not possible just to just to support persons uh, to go there and, and to know that the skills to work and so on, but also the communities and, and employers and every, everybody need uh, support to be able to, to, be, to be able to make it possible. And it should be, it should be indeed guided by, by legislation or in structural way in the, in the whole society. I hope that in, in, in some ways we were able to uh, illustrate this in, in this session. Thank you, Kirsi. So, as Kirsi said, we are we are late, and we will we will end now with our last but not least the last last power, PowerPoint slide. So, I hope that uh, from this session you will remember that uh, that we really need the whole network to help to support to be be together so that we can really enable the meaningful jobs for all of the citizens in our countries. But thank you very much for your participating and hope to see you next year in the CERO conference.